So here we are. Welcome to Let's Play Castlevania. I'm Bloody Meow, and this is the finale. Time to take on Dracula in the ceremonial room. Okay. Here we go. Yep, I remember. always remember that one. One more bonus life up, just, just to keep you happy, you know? 98.4% <laughs> and freaking... 1,020 hit points. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So yeah, kind of interesting. They give you like a little, little teeny room here. A little uh, access area. But it's on an area. We're right to the boss. Nothing special here. Oh, so that's it. The last area. Kind of like on the offset of the map. Kind of strange. So the map completion actually might mean that fourth, that Audra Mech uh, boss room, because I see that's not completely uncovered. Huh. So I actually might actually get that. But in any case, uh, we are ready. I have three potion highs, which equates to 750 hit points, four regular potions. We got a lot of mind highs and heart megas and heart X's. Got the best equipment I could possibly have. And, um... What I am going to use pretty much for the entire thing is either I'm going to use Venus and Thunderbird, which means it halves damage received. I know, it's ridiculous, but yeah, all my damage is had, but every time I get hurt, I get f sent flying. Not like I didn't anyway. And um, if things get really hairy, I'll use Unicorn plus uh, Summoning Uranus to get a uh, heal spell up. Though I will showcase that stuff in a bonus episode, so don't worry, you're not missing out, but there's no reason to show much of this right now. So, uh, definitely gonna use that one, and let's get ready for the final confrontation. Here we go, the finale. Come on, Dracula. I'm not dying. Okay, fill back up, all my hearts, all my health, and I actually uh, messed up. Uh, it's Jupiter and Thunderbird, which gives you half damage. I gave um, damage strength increase based on map percentage, which is why I did double my damage, and I realized that. But this is the right one. This is what I'm going to need. So, this is really it. This is the final boss. I'm nervous as shit, because this is one of the hardest Draculas in Castlevania. Uh, I hope I'm hyping it up, because I want to beat it. I don't want to die. So let's do this shit.
there we have it. No death run on Circle of the Moon. Legit. Freaking awesome. It's a shame that it's slow-mo in the last fight, but what can you do? I'm playing on a computer. It's just how it is. There's no way for me to avoid that. But uh, still an epic fight. I absolutely love that fight. I might have overhyped it, but not really. As you see, I almost had half my hit points left, and I'm probably 10 or so levels over than the recommended for Dracula. I had the best armor, I got almost every single health up, every single magic up, every single heart, I abused the cross on that fight, and I had uh, even more potions if I needed to, and I used the Thunderbird um, half defense thing. If you notice, one of his, his charge move when he hits you there, I lost like 167 hit points. That's over, um, over 300 hit points with the best armor in the game. So if some, some person that would just try to beat Dracula by just playing this game, not knowing all the secrets, they would lose like 600 hit points and I'd probably kill him in one shot. I mean, that is a, I, it's still a crazy fight, but that cross man is overpowered, but I'm really, it's pretty sweet. The battle arena definitely was the more difficult challenge. But um, you know, I'm pretty bad at hyping things. I just, I, I've learned to expect that, but it doesn't matter. I was really nervous about that fight, but we did it, man, we did it. And you know what? That's all there is to it, so... Thanks guys for tuning in. This is the second Castlevania, the second Vladivania. We'll see you again in Harmony of Dissidents next time. Bloody meow. Production.